All right, guys, good morning. Um, it's about seven o'clock. I was the first one up. Been up about since six. Everybody's still asleep. It was kind of a rough night for everybody. It got really cold, really, really cold, really fast. Uh, Logan and Gabe couldn't take it anymore in their Enos. So we uh, decided to hang him up and head into the car and sleep sitting up. More power to him. It's a bummer sometimes. Sometimes when you're camping, you gotta improvise and do what works. But anyway, uh, everybody else is uh, still over there. If you can check them out. Anyway, I, I can't iterate how beautiful it was last night. Um, man, this place is gorgeous. Um, it's, uh, it's hard to describe uh, how beautiful it is. Um, seeing God's creation for what it is in its natural, raw environment doesn't get any better than this while we do this stuff. So anyway, just want to wish you guys a good morning. Heading into the Tetons today. I'm sure you'll be hearing from everybody else, but man, my night was great last night. It was gorgeous. Got a lot of alone time, just sat and watched the stars, and uh, really kind of reflected. It was good. Anyway, guys, we'll see you. Life is a journey. Everyone has a journey. The people we meet, the places we go, and the things we do mold who we are. The journey began when four dreamers decided to use their talents and abilities to make a difference in the world. People always talk about what they wish they could do and the dreams that they have. You can sit back and watch it pass you by or you can get up and go. Right, so we're going to see a wild Nathan in his natural environment. I gotta be doing this very slowly. It's a wild Nathan in his natural environment. You gotta watch him because he bites. I'm gonna poke him with the stick. Good morning. This ground sucks. <laughs> Say hi to all the campers. Oh, the ocean. Yep. Day five. Right, so let's see. A natural smithing couple couple in their environment. <laughs> Looks like they're stirring. Ugh. Morning. Kelsey's left for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kelsey, I hope you slept here. well. I didn't, I but to, hey. I had to grab her. I was like, oh, I was like I'm going to go. Say something to the people. I was literally shivering. I don't mind camping. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. But. <laughs> you grabbed your towel. Like 50 degrees My towel is not very good. And. Plus. Like, if next Whoa. time I could get more than two hours of sleep, I think I'd enjoy myself a little bit better. This so. is why we prepare ahead of time, right? No. Let's no. So we've learned no a lesson. Bro, no one prepared. <clears throat> nothing, there's nothing to Did learn. Sleep Our well? bed was sinking. We were, we were both like this in the middle. <laughs> oh. This is why you need, like, actual solid, like, I told him, I was like, there's a, there's a hole in this, so let's use the, yeah. the flex seal and cover it up. That would be a great idea. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so um it's about three AM and I'm like I'm like, alright, I'm going to night about three. I like, got back in the bed and I was like Cows, we, we we need we need to get close. <laughs> and she's like, What do you want me to do? And I was like, We're gonna spoon. <laughs> and I just grabbed her and I was just like <sighs> twenty minutes later I finally stopped shivering. But she was she was shivering too, so we were both like <clears throat> Oh my gosh, she was terrible. Yes. It was, it was kind of a rough night, huh? It was, but memories. memories. Yep. That's what it's about. Yep, memories. That's all it's about. <laughs> that's, that's all you got last night. Was a memory. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Uh, right. probably okay. Probably the best. <laughs> um, 
wear shorts. <laughs> It'll be alright. I can see you guys are friend. wusses. Seriously. <laughs> you were inside a car. So cold. I slept really well for the first like two hours in the mm -hmm. you know, and then I woke up just shivering all over the place, and my legs were just. I couldn't stop, so I tried to go to the, the outhouse, this bathroom, then I came back. Tried to go back to sleep. It wasn't happening. I was like, okay, Maybe I'm going to try to the car. <laughs> to the car. I don't blame you. Uh, I still only got like two hours, maybe. Well, the car was much better, but I think it was a rough was, night for everybody over around. Yeah, still yeah. came under prepared, needed my full sleeping bag, not just a blanket, because <laughs> it makes your butt really cold. Yeah. So. Yeah. Me and Nate got about two hours of sleep. That's what I'm on. From five to seven. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Did you guys talk or like? No, but me and Lucas talked a lot through the night. He slept like on and off, but every time yeah, I would like, wake up, he'd like wake up. It was like two-hour increments, so it'd be like she'd get up and the bed would be like because it was half inflated. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Tomorrow night should be better. I mean, tonight should be better. Yeah, tonight. tonight. All right. This is why I stay in hotels. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's why we don't care. Now, I told her, I said, if we had, like, if we had really nice equipment, $100 worth. Well, I mean, and this is why it's tough to camp, because you have to spend a lot of money to be comfortable. So, like I said, it was a memory. <laughs> As we're all shivering. Yep. <laughs> So, day five, yesterday was amazing. Drove through a bunch of national forests, national parks. Uh, it was a blast. Amazing to see God's creation live. Um, super pumped about today. We are literally hitting all of Yellowstone in one day. We're doing the entire Grand Loop. So I'm super, super excited about that. As you can see, we were driving and found this pull-up shot, and it was just telling me to stop. So I stopped. Figured I'd give you guys my morning interview from uh, my view so every every day is a is a new adventure new memory and it just takes my breath away so super excited hope you guys are enjoying it
finished Mammoth Hot Springs, coming up through a valley um, on our way towards Norse Geyser and Old Faithful. And we saw some elk on the side of the road, a whole small herd of them. A lot of younger males, so the horns aren't huge. He's male. He's big. Um, He's a big male out there. But still pretty sweet. So we're getting pretty close to him. They say to keep about 100 feet from him, but we're give or take. Give or take. Yeah. So, uh, why are you out of your car, though? Oh, because we got stopped because there's some construction. I mean, you can buy another lane. Lately, there's been a lot of construction so, fine where it goes to single lane roads. So we've been stopped just for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. This is the second or third time it's happened. Infamous uh, Logan here. Uh, we should be moving here soon. All these people coming through it. It's 73 degrees out here. Yeah, this well, morning everyone was free. <laughs> the sun, it feels like it's like 93. I think a couple of those got in my mouth. Frankly, I think God didn't want you to kill because he wanted to teach you something even more. Because now you even have to think about it, and you have to think about it yourself for the rest of the way home. Why did I let what people thought of me affect me instead of just living through my Savior and jumping? That's what you got to tell yourself. Something as small as jumping off a 20-foot rock, God can teach us a lesson in. You know what? That's the positive. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. I love you. Okay? And he loves you too. And that's all that matters. Okay? You think I I think anything less of you because you didn't jump off a 20 foot rock? We've done so many freaking crazy things just because you didn't jump off a rock. Guess what? We're going rock jumping in Colorado. So I'm going to give you another chance. All right? I already found a watering hole that I want to go visit. Okay? This, this is not what this is about. And it's not about the, the lady who's talking about you going, oh, the girl's going to jump behind you. No, that's, that's how Satan works in our lives. And then all of a sudden, I know exactly what you said. You heard her and go, oh, jeez. And you brush, you brush the rocks off the side. And Satan had you. He had you. Okay? So, it's over. On to the next thing. Okay? I'm proud of you, right? the Grand Prismatic, also called Midway Geyser. And um, Lucas took us on a path that was supposed to lead us up a mountain. And as we're walking, we see it's just continually going straight and we're not going up. So we found some people who um, were at the top of this kind of steep hill and it was a struggle for me. I'm a little bit out of breath if you can't tell, but 
Um, it's really pretty, um, as you can see behind me. It's completely blue, which means that the water is actually pretty hot. So don't put your fingers in it, because they'd probably burn off. <laughs> but um, it's really pretty, and it's just cool to be able to do this and see God's creation. And um, I mean, look at that. It's a pretty awesome God if he can create something like that. So, um, yeah. I'm here with uh, uh, Logan and Richie. We're both waiting. Logan's down in some rainbow trout, and I'm very jealous. This piece, so. worth every penny. Yeah. Actually, I've never seen a geyser before, and I didn't know what it was until Richie and Logan. In fact, everybody explained it to me. So, so explain what is a geyser? I still don't know. <laughs> So for everyone at home, a geyser is a, uh, a underground thermal, uh, geothermal event that is created when um, hot water comes in contact or goes by pockets of lava underground. And it causes it to bubble up, usually pressurized in some sort of a uh, chamber or something below ground that we can't really see and then at a certain point it erupts. And in Old Faithful's case, it always erupts at a set point in time because the steam always builds up and then it erupts after that. So that's why you pretty hence, much can set your watch to it. Hence the name Old Faithful. enjoyed the videos click that subscribe button down below to watch more awesome videos check out our website for sweet merch blogs and awesome content and if you're on social media make sure that you're checking us out on facebook and instagram like us share us wear us journey signing off